speaking yeah. to you, not the camera. Well, a bit of both, you know. Okay. You can, I mean, I... Well, there's people, there's very attractive <laughs> ladies there, so one just want to talk to them as well. I ignore them. Listen, John's fallen in love so many times on yeah. this trip. It's crazy. You, uh, <laughs> you're throwing me off me. But... <laughs> I the film is, is charming. The film is Doe, uh, which the French wanted to call Duff. Because <laughs> it's rough and tough. Well, they're keeping, yeah, yeah, they're yeah, keeping yeah. the English title apparently in France. Really? Well, that yeah, will be challenging. Because the same people did my beautiful laundrette, and yeah. they could never translate it. It became very successful with the English title. Yeah. So they decided to keep the English title. Yeah. Dough. Dough, well, which of course in England means the stuff bread is made of, but also okay. represents money. Of course. Mm. And the the tagline of the film in English is that bread isn't the only thing getting baked, because in America to be baked is to be stoned. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the mix that you did between Judaism and Islam. It's right. so topical, right. it's sort of message. Right. Where did you get that inspiration? Well, the guy who wrote the script, who yeah. was a disabled Orthodox Jewish young writer, yeah. he want, he, it, was, it was his idea, the film, and he was a first-time writer, like Jerome is a first-time actor in, in movie terms. Yeah. Uh, and so he was always aware of the similarity in uh, certain uh, visual rituals and religions between Jews and Muslims. Yeah. And he wanted to show those similarities uh, in, f in, in this film yeah. and uh, not really focus so much on the prejudice. It starts with prejudice, but you recognize the similarities, yeah. the cultural uh, common uh, aspects of everybody and so it's a film about uh, an old white man a young black man uh, a jew a muslim uh, um, you know it's, it's it's the most unlikely friendship it's a buddy movie uh, um, and uh, an overcoming prejudice i mean they all prejudice to start off with yeah but the cannabis is a sort of uh, MacGuffin, as Hitchcock would have called it. It drives the story forward and it changes everybody. Everybody love you. You were saying earlier that mm. they all stood up and made, mm. well, made yeah, you stand up at the front. Yeah, yeah. How, isn't it a bit scary and intimidating when you've got somebody like Jonathan Price? Yeah, do you know what? It was, but you know he's the type of guy who makes you feel easy and at ease with everything you do. He's, he, he, he nurtured me, he there made sure that I was, um, you know, on point and could go through the scene as best as I could, so he was the best guy for it, best guy for it I could ask for, man. Well, the roles will be tumbling in now, won't they? Well, I hope, I, do you know what, I hope so, I hope so, but yeah, right now I'm at uni, so after that's all done, I hope to, I hope to be um, Gosh, acting all the time. You're yeah. still at uni? Yeah, still at uni, man, yeah, last year. Oxford. Last year. Well, yeah, of yeah, course, yeah. Well, you wouldn't go to Cambridge, would you? No. Yeah. <laughs> no really, yeah. what's, what are you studying? I'm You're doing good. English, English and then drama as a minor. Great, yeah. well, I think you're following some esteemed footsteps. Uh, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it should be good, man. Um, I go to Brooks, which is um, in Oxford. So yeah. It's, yeah, it's amazing. Amazing.